To get to that matrix calculator from desmos.com, you can click on more tools and then choose that matrix calculator. I've also got a link down below. Now I wanna start by defining a brand new matrix. So I'm gonna click on new matrix. It already gave it a letter and you can change the number of rows. You can change that dimension down here. Now I don't want this to be too big because I wanna make sure that I can get through my calculations. Let's do this as a two by two. And I'm gonna type in the numbers for each of my entries followed by tabs. Let's just do two, three, one, and then six. And then enter gives me a brand new line. I want a second matrix. I can do a few things with this. I'm gonna click on another new matrix and notice how it gives it the next capital letter, which is great. And I'm gonna put some negatives on this one. Let's do negative one, tab zero, three, and then how about just a one? Now, if you wanna to get to a new line, you can get there by hitting enter, but you can also hit the blue arrow and I'm ready to do a calculation. Let's say that I wanna do um, the sum of these two matrices. So I can type in A plus B and I've got my sum over here, I can also use the letters on my keypad. Now I'm gonna clear this one because I wanna do some additional operations. Let's do a scalar multiple and do two times A, multiplying each entry there. We can also multiply these, so I can do A times matrix B, and it goes through and does the multiplications. So many wonderful tools here, including the inverse. Now to get to the inverse, I wanna start with my matrix letter. So I'm gonna do the inverse of matrix A, and I can do A inverse, and it gives me those decimal entries, but it also gives me the convert to fraction option. Let's go ahead and convert that to a fraction to get a nicer version of this inverse. Now I'm gonna clear what I've got here, and I am going to do a row reduced echelon form. Let's go ahead and hit clear all. Let's say that I wanna solve this system. I can put it in as a new matrix. I need two rows and three columns for this one. Let's go ahead and put in those coefficients. So three, two, and seven. And then for the next equation, I've got one, five, and whoops, one backing up, five and 11. I'm gonna hit enter to get to another line and I can do row reduced echelon form. So I'm gonna click on that one. I wanna apply this to my matrix A and here is my row reduced echelon form. This tells me that X, one X is equal to one and one Y is equal to two. I've got more on Desmos for you here.